Welcome back. In this final video we meet a new character and find out what happens at the end of our story. I've got my pencils ready, I've got my drawing ready, so let's get cracking. Well as before I've taped my picture onto the board and I'm ready to go and we're going to start as usual by putting in the skin tones. Use the pink. That's a little bit more delicate this one than the stinky pea picture. Gotta make her look very pretty. So be careful, make sure you get a nice pinky look to her and then follow her through on her skin. the rest of it off and then we'll be going back on to I think we'll do her hair next there you see how that nice that looks now let me finish this off now her hair she's got to have very pretty golden hair hasn't she and right up to the edge. There you go. Now, how pretty is that? Make it just a little stronger so it uh, really catches the eye. There you go. Now, what we could do here is, you've got to be careful, you've got to put a little bit of red in the mouth. And if you if you're really clever, you can put just a little bit of red on her cheek like that. Not easy, put it in, but it looks good if you can do it like that. Great. And now, what about her clothes here? Well, what I would do here is I'd put some yellow on like that and some red. Like that. And then put the yellow back because that will give you a really attractive orangey look. See that? So we made up another colour. Pretty, isn't it? Right. Um, blue, I think, would be the obvious colour for her. The brush, just the brush, not the bristles. This is going to be really interesting. What I'm going to do here, we're going to use two or three colours for this. Start with the yellow and sweep it like I'm showing you here. Like that. And when you get to there, you go the other way. Like that. So it's like that. And then like that. And then bring it down. Don't fill it all in. When you come down to here, you do the same idea again. Just sweep it in, down there, and then down there into the water. Then we pick the green and do the same thing. Don't, don't be too heavy, and it just nice and light. Like that. First one way, and when you get to there, yeah, the other way. Like that. And this makes her look very fishy, doesn't it? 
And when you come down here, we can then do exactly the same idea. Come into the tail and sweep it in. Like that. I wouldn't make it too not too strong. I think that is just about right if you can do it. Like that. And what I would do too is just a little blue as well. So we've got three colours in here that make it look really nice and do exactly the same idea with that a little bit of blue like that now, how pretty is that seaweed well seaweed is is green so we can I think we can make that green might be a nice idea too to put a bit of um, yellow in that make it the light green, is it like that? You should have a bit of experience now, so you should be clever at doing this sort of thing. That looks nice. And what about the rock? Well, that's got to be brown, hasn't it? I wouldn't make it too strong though. Just do this same idea I've showed you before. Swirl it round in round circular movements. You get a better coverage without making it too strong. You see how that works out? Now I'll, I'll do the rest of this because it's going to take me a little while to do, as long as you've seen me do some of it. When you get to the bottom here, don't go right up close to that, just stop like that because we're going to put some water in in a minute. So let me, let me finish this off. I'll go right round the seaweed so you can see how that's going to look. And then I'm going to finish that off. Now I'd make the boat brown, very light brown. You're only going to be able to get a little bit of this in, but there we are. Now what do we do about the water? Well if you remember when we did the water before, let me show you. We, we did it like this. Follow the lines that I put on the cartoon. Don't try to fill it all in though, it'll look better if you can do this idea, suggest it. And also, don't fill it right into the bottom. If you can do it, just like that. Now when you come back up here, I would just gradually ease off. Put it in there and just ease off until you get virtually to the boat. Like that. Same on this side. Just put it in and much, much lighter touch to get up to there. And if you leave it like that, that looks good. Now we want the green. Same idea. some of the green just to mix in with the blue and sometimes on its own but by leaving the white there it also gives you yet another tone now I think that looks lovely I wouldn't worry about the sky I'd just leave that alone because I think that looks pretty good as it is so there we are there's the finish and what I'll do here is let me show you. I haven't shown how I do this yet, but if you pull the, the tape off, you see I haven't put, put it on very far, you can just see that. So by it comes off nice and easy like that, and then you've got a, a picture which is easily kept and perhaps put on your wall. So I'll give you a better version of that, I'll give you a longer view of that. Well that's the end of the colouring. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a great time and uh, I look forward to seeing you again sometime. Well, it looks like it all worked out for Stinky Pete. No longer stinky, but smelling all nice and pretty. I hope you've enjoyed colouring him in along with me. If you have, let me know in the comments. I look forward to seeing you again on another video very, very soon. Bye for now.